Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're tuning in for the first time or whether you're one of our longtime followers, welcome. Um, we're excited to show you another camp that we have. As you can see, this one's a traditional layout, but I'm going to go through the interior of this one and then I'm going to show you the exterior. This one is a toy hauler, so it does have the deck, 24 foot box, super long camp, but as, as we walk through this camp, you'll see how nice it is. And maybe you can determine whether bigger is better for you or whether you like a more compact camp. So anyways, let's walk through this one and see, see what we're working with. As you walk into this camp, this is something one of the customers has asked me if I'd show you a little more about this front door. So this is a Dutch door, a split door, and this goes way back to some of the first sheep camps. And what this was used for is some of the camps, it actually was a source if they hooked their horses up to it, they could stand in that doorway with the reins of the horses. Um, but probably the more useful use of this door was to help regulate temperature from the wood stove. So if we open this door, it's got a latch on this inside. Okay, and then that top half can latch back to the top. And you can close that bottom half, which makes it super nice if you're, you know, traveling, you get to your location, you're in a scenic spot, you're able to watch and, and see what's going on outside as well as if you wanted to regulate temperature. This one does have the screen window to where you can open that up to get some ventilation and still keep the insects out of it. So yeah, that's kind of how the Dutch door works. Um, really cool, a lot of history behind it. And then once we walk in, like I said, this is a traditional layout. So very similar to other camps that you've seen us do. Um, you have your big double closet above. This has got the closet rod inside. And then lots of space for storing stuff. And then you have your drawers underneath. And as you can see, these are big, deep drawers. So you can put lots of camping gear or, you know, say you're living in it. You can store a lot of stuff in here. This one does have the fire extinguisher in it. We let our customers put them wherever's convenient for them. And then, I don't know if I showed you too, this has the soft close hinges on them, which we do in all of our camps. Helps keep your doors closed. Um, we have catches on the drawers so that they're not sliding out as you're going down the road. And then you have your stainless steel appliances. So you have your microwave, which has the air fry in it and then your freezer and fridge combo. This is a two-way fridge, so gas and electric. You can set your temperature on the controls there. I guess I can open it up and show you. Pretty big freezer as well as fridge. So you should be able to put plenty of food in there. have our propane gas light and it's lit this little lever on this side as you can see there's the on off and in between if you pull it down you can dampen it right down or you can turn it off but super handy puts off a little heat to where it takes the chill off um, one of my favorite features of the camp i like the gas light and our monitoring system monitors all your tank levels, your battery levels, you can set alarms on it, um, you can do a lot of things with it. And then we have our water heater switch. And then all of our overhead storage and all of these are on so slow close hinges as well. And then they have these gas struts too. So keeps them up when you're using them. And then yeah, if I drop them down, they just slow close and stay shut. You've got lights underneath your cabinets. This one does have the exhaust fan too. Above your stainless steel range. 
Below there we have our converter, all of our fuses, outlets, everything that you need there. All of this is labeled where you can find it easy. This is a GFI, so everything's GFI protected in here. Makes it easy. If you have any issues, you know right where to go to. And then as you can see, it's just a traditional layout from there back with our benches. These are split bench cushions. Oh, I skipped over the wood stove, which, you, how can you skip over the wood stove, right? So this thing is a game changer in these camps. I mean, it'll bring the temperature up quick. It continues to radiate heat as, as the metal warms and as those fire bricks retain that temperature. So it keeps it nice and toasty, and then you have six inches of... R19 in the floor and six inches of R19 in the ceiling and then the walls are all with a three-quarter blue board and they're about two and a quarter inches thick. So you you have a lot of insulation value in these camps to retain that temperature. Yeah, whether you're using the air conditioner or whether you're using the wood stove, it means temp temperature very well. If, if you're used to travel trailers, you know that they're breezy, they're cold, or they're hot, one of the two. You won't find that issue in, in any of our camps. They're, they're well insulated and, and very usable. So now that we got the wood stove checked off, you have your benches here. And as you can see, they did the split cushions to where they could do a variety of different things there. These do have storage below. And then they also have our soup boxes, which lift up and there's storage in there. So you can store lots of things in there, whether it's blankets, guns, fishing poles, really whatever you want. The, the title soup boxes comes from the old cheap camps where they kept canned goods underneath there we can do them with like a toy box set up to where that top bench lifts up and you can just store stuff all the way down and do false fronts on the front or however you want it that way so then you have your trundle bed i'm not going to pull that out i think a lot of you have seen how that works but it's basically latched on the sides and then you'll pull these cushions off and that'll roll out. This one has a queen size pillow top in it. And as you can see, we did some custom engravings for them. This door has a duck scene. And then we go into kind of a Western cattle drive. And then we have a mountain deer scene on this one. So I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments what what maybe you would like in a custom engraving. We've done a lot of, you know, brands that are special to people or, or any, we really can do just about anything in these. So um, I think it's something that's cool that kind of makes it unique to you and, and kind of gives it some character for sure. You've got more storage below. These feed back to where they're big storage bins. I can open one for you. But you've got quite a bit of storage there. Another outlet, your COLP detector. And then you have your pull-out table. And it'll pull out. This is a nice feature. Like I say, this, this traditional layout is traditional. This is what all the old sheep camps were like. Very well thought out. Usable space is incredible. And if you think about it, the way that sheep camps were used back in the day, they lived in them 24 seven all the time. And so most of them were 12 feet to 14 feet. And so it, they needed every bit of space that they could possibly get. And so they are very well thought out. This traditional layout works very well. And then they have a pillow top queen up above. And this one was actually set up for a king size mattress up top, but they wanted to add this storage in the back. So that's got a door on it that lifts up to where you can store things back there. And then you have a sliding screen window in the back. 
some reading lights. That one does have the USB set up for satellite TV or antenna, however you want to run it. And then there's an AC outlet up there as well. And then you have your fantastic fan. This will blow air in or out. Um, number of different speeds. You can set temperatures on it. Very cool, especially when you're using the wood stove. This helps regulate your temperature. Um, just a super nice feature. All LED lights. And then this has all the rosewood trim. Smoke detector. And then you have your 28 inch 12 volt TV. So no need to run the generator um, to watch TV. You can just turn it on. It runs off the solar and off the batteries. And then you have your Western horseshoe hooks up on the two by sixes. And this bench is just like the other one, has the soup boxes and the storage below. And then you have a four bank of drawers. And then this one, we did the countertop inserts for the sink just to give them even more counter space. This one does have a, a double sink, um, stainless steel, and they are super deep. So as you can see, you can store a lot of, lot of dirty dishes if you don't want to clean them in there. And then same thing up here. Those are all on gas struts as well. Bubble plug, your stereo outlets there. Then you have more storage above. And then these have become quite popular in all of our camps. Everyone seems to like these pull out pantries. So we have one up high and then we have another one below too. So lots of storage in this camp. Now we're on to the bathroom. These are your light switches. So you have your porch light, bath, well, middle lights, and bathroom lights here. Now all of our lights are all on switches themselves too. So you can turn each light off individually to where you can, I mean, if you find that you don't like them all on or, you know, you just want a couple on, you can turn them all on individually and that'll allow you to yeah, determine how much light's in here. So I'll turn this one back on to give us a little better light in here. So as you can see, all hardwood doors. This is not a alder. This is finished in a Brazil wood. The wall color in this one is a walnut heights. Brazil wood cabinets. And then this is a dockside seashell, is what this floor is called. But yeah, all solid doors. Um, this is an inch and a half thick, very stout bathroom door. You can see lots of cool character in it. We, uh, If you've watched our videos, you know that this color is very popular, this Brazil wood. So, your medicine cabinet. With your mirrored doors, this does have a outlet on the bottom side, running your blow dryer, shaver, whatever that way. Your vanity sink, little single sink. Your drawers, some more storage. Porcelain toilet with foot flush. And then you have your stainless steel glass shower door. And your stainless steel fixtures and shower head. Well, that's a look at the inside. Should we go ahead and take a look at the outside and show you what the, the toy hauler edition looks like? So I pulled this one in the shop. It's blowing like crazy outside and you probably wouldn't be able to hear me. So we're just gonna go through this one in here. So as you can see, this one's got the ATV deck on it, um, five feet wide. 
you can see how it's got all your tie downs all your posts and everything super clean looking deck very grippy makes for a nice porch when you get there in fact this one we did you can see that it's got a quick connect for their propane to where they could set the barbecue up here or whatever and barbecue on here set their lawn chairs up um, but just makes for a super nice feature especially if you're you know hauling coolers or whatever it kind of frees up some some space inside the camp or in in the bed of your truck so all your horseshoe hardware that kind of give it that western look broom holder and then we always get asked if these steps ride like that and they do flip up over so they'll flip up and they will just store right there on top of that little deck so and they are super heavy, so you don't have to worry about them bouncing and coming back down. Then you have two 30 pound propane tank, seven gallon. Your Bulldog adjustable coupler hitch. The ramps for this are on the other side. They're just stored underneath. So you'll have ramps and they'll just go up onto those. And then this one does have the awning, your frosted bathroom window, and then you have your exhaust fan for your bathroom as well. Outside spray port, this does have a quick connect for your hose. It just slides on, twists, and then there's a hose and a sprayer for it. So it makes it nice for cleaning things off. Um, I guess if you wanted to shower in it, you could do that too. Eight lugs, 16 inch wheels. Your water heater, your bypass door, your spare tire. And I think I've showed you on previous videos, this is set up just like it would be on your truck to where it's the same size lug wrench that will fit that as your lugs, as well as your stabilizer jacks. So makes it easy, drop that thing down, swap the tire out, pull it back up. Water heater. Then you have your outside light. Pull out camp shaft, which is a nice feature. Most of you, as you go camping and everything, probably like to cook outside, whether you're on the fire or the camp shaft. This kind of incorporates both to where you have it right there on demand. have your solar panels this is a coax port to where if you were to run a satellite dish or um, just an antenna in general you can just hook it in there all of our caps do come with receivers to where you can pull your side by side or another trailer whatever you want to pull and they are wired um, to accept all that they are wired for trailer bra brakes as well so if your trailer is equipped with trailer brakes, that is a nice feature as well. Your water storage for your fresh water is in this compartment and then more storage. And then this one has your battery bank. As well as your solar controller and your battery disconnect. So, and depending on it, like if you did an inverter or anything, I would also put them in here. And all of these are all on switches too, to where you, they're lighted, to where you can see what you're doing. This one is your city water connection, as well as your fresh water fill for your tank. Your furnace. And this is your wood box access. That's your fresh air intake for your stove so you're not burning your combustible air. But this feeds all the way through to where you can store your firewood, kindling, all that stuff in here. And then you can access it from the inside without coming to the outside to get it. Your electrical connections, this has a 20 foot cord. It's a 30 amp. So 
it's kind of nice if you're going to campgrounds planning on doing that um, all of your connections as far as your water your electrical and then your sewer so this one's all set up to where all your sewers there fridge vent covers and then this is the storage for your ramp so it's got those pins and that folds down and you can pull the ramps out and load your machines up on there Well, that's a wrap of this camp. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what else to show you. It seems like we walked through this one pretty quickly. Um, but if there's something that I missed that you guys would like to see, be sure to leave that in the comments. I do look at the comments, so I try and, try and respond to as many as I can. Um, and yeah, I love your feedback. It helps me know what you guys would like to see. Like I've said in previous videos, the majority of our customers live out of state, so unless you can come out, it, it's hard for you to see our product. So these videos have been about our, our best resource and giving you something to look at. So anyways, if there's something that you want to see, be sure to let me know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so, like, share, all that fun stuff, and we'll catch you on the next Camp Walkthrough.